excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, I have messaged you the document, sir. Yes, yes, I've got it. I've got it. Yes, sir. Just give me a minute. I'm opening some uh, website, and then I'll uh, share the screen. All of you, it's my request that you please see this particular class on your mobile and keep a laptop open in front of you, because you will understand, uh, you know, how to compute data and other things. So we need to open Excel file. You need not open it. You have to just see what I do so that you can also understand. Okay, sir. sometimes
I'll share the screen. And please note what I'm doing now. Are you able to listen to me? Are you able to, am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Yes, yes sir. No, I've just taken an, I'm just going to demonstrate you something. Please have a look at it. Okay. Now, for all practical purpose, we are going to understand how do we solve, you know, uh, the actual case study, which I have given you as an assignment, that too, as a group assignment. Okay. Now here, what I've, I told you to select one sector, and I also told you to select around 12 companies from that particular sector, right? Further, I had also told you to download the data and keep the data as it is. Now here I have taken only one year, but I think you have data for two years. In other words, you might have around somewhere close to 500 data points. So if you click from this slide till the, till the end, okay, till the end, I think you should have around 500 data points. Look at this, to, I have 247 here, which is only for one year, starting from 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2020. Okay, the data points that I have is just 247. So if we take for two years, the data points would be exactly double of it. So somewhere around 500 data points is what you're going to have. Clear? At the same time, please understand that I told you to download 12 such companies. So TCS is my first company, probably something else, my second company, third, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Like this, you have around 12 companies altogether, right? Do you have this data with you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you have around 12 companies. Now, what you need to do is basically for all practical purpose, this index that you have will always be denoted by the letter X, which is an independent variable. And this company that you have, for example, in my case, I have TCS. This is my Y. So technically speaking, you have one parameter called as X, which is an independent variable and one parameter Y, which is called a dependent variable, right? Now we need to establish a relationship between our share that is TCS and the market. In other words, we want to know whether our share is moving along with the index or is it going away from the index? So if this is the question that I have to ask you, I straight away take all the data points. Okay, I select all the data, data points and I just go to insert and just, <coughs> excuse me, I just uh, select the data points and I'll just put a graph of it. Let me see how the graph looks like. So can you observe something? Okay, can you observe something? Index, this is the uh, TCS line. Orange color is the TCS line and blue color line is the index line. So if you observe one thing, TCS is much more stable. TCS is much more stable than the index. Can you observe this? TCS is much more stable. So if you look at the stock price somewhere near 2000, the share is constantly available to us somewhere near 2000. So sometimes it might go up, sometimes it might go down, but on an average near about 2000, the share is available. On the other hand, if you look at the index, it crosses 12,000, it comes below 12,000. 12, Here it has also come below 11,000. So there is a wide variance. There is a wide deviation that is observed as far as the index is concerned. So this is just a graphical representation. Okay, this is just a graphical representation for our satisfaction to see whether we have selected the right shares or no. So in my case, till this particular time, my index and my stock were moving in synchronous. That means they were moving along with each other. This was the time wherein Corona affected. This was the time wherein Corona got affected, right? And immediately after Corona, if you can see, the market crashed, but this company did not crash. Reason, it is a IT based company and IT based companies, whether you work from home or whether you work in the office, it is immaterial. Okay. The work gets carried on. Had I chosen any manufacturing sector, say for example, any FMCG product, you would have seen a dip in this particular line below also. So it tells you 
how the share is sensitive as far as the market is concerned getting it so this is the first opinion that you have to take next what you need to do is you just change the top chart and see how the data points are moving along so if you see the data points are moving along you know they are very very closely related to each other clear now with this we cannot come to any mathematical figure so in order to come to the mathematical figure we have to we have to calculate some values so the first step that you have to understand is you have to prepare a chart like this you have to prepare a line chart like this and tell me whether both the shares that you have or whether both the whatever shares that you have are they in synchronous with the index clear so that is what you have to do now question is sir should we take all 12 sh 12 shares in one go no you need not take all 12 shares in one go each student has to do three shares okay so you plot the values for three shares here you write down the value of uh, values of three shares here the closing price of shares of all three companies and then you plot a chart using excel so every student will have three shares and one index in his assignment clear this is the first part of the calculation that you have to do second part now we know that the share and the index are moving in tandem or moving along with each other we have to get to some data analysis now how do we need to get to data analysis first of all okay i will just remove this i want to find out what is the return that the index is giving me i repeat i have to find out what is the return from the index so i'll write down here return from x x is nothing but my index so what is the return so i calculate equal to this becomes my on 2nd april this becomes my ending price this becomes my beginning price okay i close the bracket divided by the beginning price so this is the return that i get for first day so if i trade if i buy the share yesterday and if i sell the share today what is the return that i am going to get i am to get i am going to get this return okay now there are too many decimal points here so if you want to avoid decimal places you can reduce the decimal places here itself stick to only four decimal places your calculations become easier for you to understand clear so once you are done with this just double click on this you know can you see this knob here can you see this a knob here all of you just yes sir just, just double click on this you get the returns for all the values that are there in your data points now you might get some positive figures you might get some negative figures don't worry about it leave it as it is next i need to find out return from tcs that is y so how do i find my return from tcs again i apply the same concept this is my ending price minus beginning price the whole divided by beginning price so this is my return for tcs as on, as on that date for the entire day i double click it i get all my returns for that particular time frame any doubts in understanding this any doubts in understanding this so beginning price or uh, so ending price minus beginning price divided by no, beginning no, no. price sir uh? i repeat i repeat ending price minus beginning price the whole divided by beginning price okay sir okay this is a very simple method of doing it okay but in companies in the stock market they do not employ this they employ another method i will just show you that particular method if you want to follow you follow it otherwise you leave it okay so this is one way of calculating return from x i will show you alternate way alternate form to compute return okay i am using an alternate form to compute the return 
So instead of using this particular formula, there is a built-in formula called as LN. LN. LN stands for natural logarithm number. Okay, LN stands for natural logarithm number. So what you need to do, you have to just double click on this, open the brackets, click on number. Okay. So this is my index. I click on ending price. That is the second day value or whatever is the value on 2nd April, the whole divided by value on 1st April. And I close the brackets, I hit enter. Answer is same. Answer is same. But this is a very crude form of doing your computation of returns. This is how actual returns have been computed. Clear? You can follow anyways. In both the cases, the answer comes correct. But if you want more accuracy of the answer, generally they follow this particular part because it is a logarithmic based formula clear so those who want to compute returns by using LAN you are free to do it those who feel that they are not comfortable with this particular log you can use the formula that was already mentioned clear I think this is much easier so choice is yours yes sir I will delete this I just wanted to show you this now this is X and this is why these are my returns that I have already computed. Now, next part. Next part is I have to know or I need to know whether these returns, is there a correlation between these returns? Okay, is there a correlation between these returns? Okay, so if you want to know what is the correlation between these returns, what you need to do is go to data analysis. Okay, I hope you know how to install this data analysis tool pack. I had told you in the previous class how to install data analysis. For those who don't know, go to file, go to options, go to options. In options, go to a cost uh, of uh, you know, a bar called as add add-ins. Okay, in add-ins. There is something called as analysis tool pack. Okay. When you click on analysis tool pack, it comes blue in color and then say go. Okay. Another window opens up. Click on analysis tool pack. Click OK. Okay. The data frame or the data points will come here. So this is what we are going to use. Now I want to find out the correlation. So what do I do? I click on data analysis. Okay. I go to correlation. Okay, I go to correlation and I click OK. The moment I click OK, a window comes out called as input range. So I have to specify what is my input range. So I specify all this input range. So this is my input range. Okay. So I select all the points. I select all the points and I leave it. And I'm going to click this labels because in my top column, my top, uh, you know, there is a variable, there is a alphabet called as returns from X and returns from Y. These are not values. These are alphabets. So I have to click label in first row. Okay. And then I want to give my output range. Where do I want to print the answer? So I say print my answer in this particular column itself. Okay. And then I click OK. This type of a table comes in. Sorry. This type of a table comes in. I'll just reduce the value so that it is readable. What does it say? It says that there is only 38.49% correlation between X and Y. Okay, there is only a correlation of 38.49. That means the way index moves, TCS moves only to the tune of 38.49 percent okay why is it uh, why is the correlation so less now we have to find out why is the correlation so less till this particular point any doubts so, uh, so, so please can you uh, repeat it i'll just lost the connection so, so we have to go to the options uh, from there i lost it 
फाइल ऑप्शन Okay, now click on data analysis. Click on correlation. Okay, this particular chart appears, or this particular window appears. Select what is the correlation that you want to find out. I want to want to find out the correlation between returns of X, that is my Nifty returns, and my EPS returns. So I select the entire data set. Okay. and after selecting the data set i say the top column has labels that means the heading for that particular data is returns from tcs and returns from index or returns from x and returns from y something is mentioned here so i click this okay and i click okay the moment i click okay the answer is readily available for me so my correlation is already calculated I'll just reduce the decimals. So my correlation is already calculated. There is only thirty-eight point four nine percent correlation between the returns of TCS and the returns of index. Now the question arises: Why so less? Okay, TCS is a very premium stock. Why is it that the correlation between these two entities is lesser? Okay, that is what we have to find out. now in order to find out this by the way this is your second calculation that you have this is your second part that you have to do first was the graphical representation and now this is the mathematical representation of the same clear this was a graphical yes, representation that you did i'll just reduce the size so that i can take it up this is a graphical representation and this is a mathematical re just a minute i lost control of this so this is a graphical representation and this is a mathematical representation of the same okay so this is a mathematical representation of the graph this is a graphical representation of the same data now the question is why is there so less correlation between these two entities for that we need to find out is the stock of tcs very sensitive to the market or is it not sensitive to the market for that reason we have to find out regression analysis clear so if we want to find out the regression analysis again we go to data go to data analysis and here we go to regression okay here we go to the regression so you find here regression i click on regression pay attention i click on regression and this it gives me an output called as what is your y range and what is your x range this is what it says okay so now what is my y this is my y range right so i will select what is my y range okay so i'll select here so entire y is been selected i come to x i come to x so i have to select my entire x now so my x is selected my y is selected 
only one thing you have to observe. See that this number is same, 247, 247. Okay, this is also starting from one, this is also starting from one. Otherwise, it becomes problematic. Okay, next, my top column has labels. So I'll click on labels and I want the result in the same sheet. So I have to, I need to know where I should print my result. So I want the result to be printed here itself. So I'll specify where do I want to print the result. I want the result to be printed here. So I select okay, and then I click OK. Oops, there is some error. Please check the range. Okay. Now there is an error here. Okay. I'll tell you what is the error. The error is I have to left these two columns blank. I should not have left these two columns blank. I will just copy this value here so that column doesn't become blank. Now let us see if I get the same error again. remain same. I want my outputs here itself. I want my output here and then I click OK. So my result is out here. This is my result. Now what I'm doing is I'm just reducing the uh, you know decimal points because too many decimal points will make the number bigger. I don't want to make the number bigger nor I want to confuse you. So I'll just keep it, keep my number small. Only to four decimal places. Yeah. So now just look at this. Return from Y. This is nothing but this is your beta value. This is your beta value. Did you observe one thing? Your beta value and your correlation. Your correlation is almost 38.49 and your beta value is only 0 0.40. What does it mean? What does it mean? It means that it means that tomorrow whatever happens to the overall market TCS stock is going to be very very safe. TCS stock is very very safe when it comes to investment because come what may whatever happen to the market it is very very steady. You have observed it from the graph itself that whatever happened to the market TCS has always remained stable. It has not got disturbed in any way. Why is it? It's because it has a beta value of only 0.4 and the correlation between the the correlation between uh, TCS and the market is just 38.49 percent. In fact, you can get the value here also. Multiple R means correlation. Okay, multiple R means correlation. Are you able to understand this? Now, in your, uh, I don't know whether you have studied this. You have studied hypothesis, right? All of you have studied hypothesis? Sir, in second sum, research methodology. Yeah, research methodology, you have studied hypothesis. Do you know how to test a hypothesis? You know how to test a hypothesis? Sir might have told you sir, something called as p-value. If p-value is less than 0 0.05, you have to accept null hypothesis. If it is greater than 0 0.05, you have to reject the null hypothesis, something like that. There was some method to do that, sir. I'll tell you a shortcut method but here. I will write, I'll just giving you, I will write my H-naught hypothesis, okay? 
there is no relationship between tcs return and index return this is my first hypothesis and what is my h1 hypothesis there is a relationship right yes sir yes sir there is a relationship this is my alternate hypothesis now if i want to make a decision now whether there is a relation or no relation i have to check for this p value here can you see this p value here can yes sir p value here now if your p value if p value okay is less than 0.05 if p value is less than 0.05 except the sorry sorry except the null hypothesis except the null hypothesis now in this case is your value less than 0.05 is your p value right is this value less than 0.05 my answer can you tell me is your value less than 0.05 answer is yes so what are you going to yes do? sir accept null hypothesis if this value p value is greater than 0.05 you would have rejected the null hypothesis and you would have accepted the alternate hypothesis i think veer coder sir might have told you all this yes so here yeah, yes sir even the re even the relationship between the two h o yeah h not and h1 that how to compare right right so you know know this right so uh, this regression table will reveal a lot of data i just want to erase this i just want to brush you up okay so this is very important for us to understand why is tcs stock more stable it's because its beta value is less than 0.5 in fact its beta value is just 0.4 and that is the reason it is a very very safe stock to play with it's a very safe stock to play with it's a long term growth oriented stock so if you want to invest for the long term this is a right share for you because its beta is very very stable its beta is just 0.5 what does it mean it means that if market moves up by 1% your stock will just go up by 0.4% i'll just give an example tomorrow if the index goes up by 10% if it goes up by 10% tcs will go up by just 4% tcs will go up by just 4% clear which also means if market is down by 10% okay tcs will fall down just by 4% so those people who feel that you know i want to invest into stock market but i don't want to take this risk should always look for such shares whose beta value is less than 1 are you able to understand getting it so this is the explanation for the beta value okay anyways hypothesis testing you are not doing it so i will not discuss anything about hypothesis value these are this is the value for t test this is the value for f test okay these are your degrees of freedom okay df stands for degrees of freedom okay there is one regression variable which is nothing but we are comparing tcs with index so you get only one the residual values is 243 and total is 244 so degrees of freedom is n minus 1 is the degree of freedom so this is how the calculation works out okay clear we have 245 all together we have 245 observations in that the residual value is 243 total is 244 one becomes the regression analysis value next we have one more column called as r square what does r square tell you r square r square says that whatever changes that are hap happening in tcs whatever changes that are happening in tcs whatever up and down the share goes up in tcs only 14.81% okay how did i get this 14.81% just convert this into percentage value 
only 14.81% of whatever variation that is happening in tcs can be explained because uh, can be explained by the index variations again i repeat only 14% of the variation 14.81% of the variation that happens in tcs only 14.8% of variation that happens in tcs is due to index okay which means index has a very limited impact on the stock of tcs which means index has a very limited effect on the stock of tcs that is the reason we get all these values are you able to understand what i'm trying to tell you yes sir sure or you're just telling me to finish up my class remember what i am telling you is a part of your assignment and this is if you do this thing properly your third semester project will happen here itself you don't have to go anywhere in fact whatever i am teaching you that itself is your project so you can do this okay one person if you want to really do your project into investment management whatever i am teaching you this, that will be your project itself you take one sector any one sector and do a complete analysis of it say for example take all the companies that are there in banks so do an analysis of the indian banking system okay so you get all the shares of the banks that are listed you do the regression analysis you do correlation analysis you do summary statistics you do the fundamental analysis you do technical analysis and then you build a portfolio of it that is your subject that itself is your project so i don't want you to mug up things into investment management i want you to understand that whatever i'm teaching is practically applicable in the market and how they apply it i'm telling you in the form of assignments that i'm going to just that i'm just sharing with you is it clear so this is what you have to do i have less than a minute i'm going to stop the uh, presentation here please relog in i have to show you one more aspect and then we can uh, then you can continue your uh, assignment or then we can have a break clear but right now re log in quickly because i have to show you one more concept called as summary statistics okay so i shut down the meeting please re log in quickly <laughs>